Hi, in this lecture I will be talking about position vectors and their application. A position vector, a fixed vector which locates a point in a space space relative to another point. Okay. We have point O, a point P here with coordinates of X, Y, Z. Position vector R or we can say OP that starts from O ends at P defines at X I Y J and Z K meaning if you start from origin you travel X amount on X axis you travel y amount in the direction of y you travel z amount in the direction of z remember magnitude direction how much you should travel x amount which direction direction of i how much y amount which direction j direction how much z amount which direction k direction you should arrive at point P. This one is easy because it was between origin and point P. What if both points are in a space? A and B. One with coordinates of X, Y, and Z, and the other one coordinates of X sub B, Y sub B, and Z sub B. So position vector A, B from A to B is desired to find it. So here you got to go back to beginning of this chapter when we define vectors operations and look at these three vectors. Let me redraw it here. I have RA, I have R, let's call it RAB, and I have RB. What can you say between these three vectors? In other words, one of them is resultant of the other two. Can you figure it out which one is resultant of the other two? Yes, if you look at triangle rule that we had at the beginning of the chapter, look, RA plus RAB equals RB. RA plus RAB, so again, don't lose focus. This is my goal, I wanna find that equals R B R A or in other words based on we learn O A right same same as this one let's look if I had point P with coordinates of X Y and Z position vector from origin to that point was just X Y and Z okay easy enough I have R O A so the position vector is just x a i y a j z a k okay plus r a b which i don't know what it is yet equals r o b same way as r o a it's going to be x i this time subscript of B 
y b subscript of j z b subscript of k okay so let me rearrange this equation r a b is going to be let's just take the i's together x b minus x sub a i let's take j's together y b minus y a j and let's do k's together put k's together z b minus z a k and this is how you find position vector between two points in space so from a to b coordinates of a deducted from coordinates of b so this is how you remember it so a position vector from a to b would be coordinates of to minus coordinates of from so let's go back and see does that make sense for point p so how come here we didn't have minus we actually do it is r o p it's from two and i just told you it should be pi p minus o coordinates of it right what is coordinates of point o zero 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 so here we also had it but it was hidden and we couldn't see it it was x minus zero i y minus zero j z minus zero k does that make a little bit more sense now so between two points doesn't matter if it's origin or not origin or any point in the space coordinates of two or sorry from needs to be deducted from um, two okay but let's see how are we going to use this okay the application is when we have a magnitude okay given magnitude of f and what we want is find vector f okay the only information that we have is coordinates of a and coordinates of b let's call it one two three or one 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 two 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 so in both of these cases you have a chain you have a rope you don't have the angles or you don't have the coordinate direction angles or you don't have any direction how can you transfer this magnitude into a vector and that's where you're going to help uh, get help from position vectors so the force f acting along the rope can be represented as a cartesian vector by establishing xyz axis and first coming uh, forming a position vector r along the length of the rope then the corresponding unit vector that finds the direction of both rope and the force can be determined finally the magnitude of the force is combined with its direction f sub u so here i explain it easier so again given is magnitude f you have to transfer this magnitude into a vector or a force vector okay so magnitude transfer to a force vector the only information you have is coordinates of a and coordinates of b 
or the positions of A, um, A and B. B, oh, I messed up, Z of B, okay. In, these, in this case, the first step is to find position vector from what to what? From A to B or B to A? It's a good question. Because they're going to be different. A to B or B to A? I would say A to B. Why? Because the F is pointing that way. So F is pointing this way. So I'm going to travel from A to B. So find position vectors from A to B. Okay, we just learned how to do that, right? Which is XB minus XA. Remember, it's going to be B minus A. I. B, A, J, B, A, K. Okay, step one, easy enough. Step two, find unit vector of position vector A, B. Huh, unit vector. Unit vector is a vector with a magnitude of a one in the direction. So magnitude of one direction a to b do you remember how to find mag unit vector of a vector all you have to do is divide that vector by its own magnitude magnitude of r a b is just x b minus x a squared y b minus y a squared z b minus z a squared this is going to be magnitude of r a b step three let's think about it you have force f which is only a magnitude in order to transfer to vector what is missing from it what does a vector has that a magnitude doesn't vector is a magnitude plus a direction I have a magnitude direction is missing I just found a direction unit vector because it has magnitude of 1 so it doesn't make any difference all we care about is the direction in the direction of a b so if i just put this u next to f is going to give me what i'm looking for so step three a force vector vector is magnitude and direction so force of a b is just magnitude unit vector of a b if i want to expand it a little bit more magnitude position vector a a to b divided by magnitude a over b you got to be careful because now it's a big deal where to put the arrow and where not to put the arrow okay because look if you don't use it correctly you're going to get really confused the first one is a vector the whole thing is a vector but inside of it it has a magnitude it has just the f and it has the unit vector a b in the next video, I will be go, going over numerous examples of how to find force vectors by only two points in space. Thank you.